all right what's up YouTube um, this video is called smile and I just happened to look at this tree and this is odd looking bird it looks like um, what you would see if you looked up Lyra L-Y-R-E and it's in a tree it looks like a peacock in a tree is what it looks like <laughs> um, but I'm gonna call this one smile yesterday I was um, doing some basic I'm just gonna say okay yesterday I was at this place and this woman um, she was approaching the door and she had a lot of stuff and I remember I looked at her and normally you know the type of person I am and this has been instilled in me by my mother is when you see somebody need help or may need help you run to go help them but you know I looked as I saw her approaching the door you know I was in the middle of doing something and so this is something that I see she saw that changed in me. I was in the middle of doing something. I stopped and I looked for a little bit. But then as she got close to the door, it's like that instinct kicked in. And I jumped up and I ran, you know, to open the door for her. And she was just so thankful. You know, I'm 40. She's probably about 60, you know, maybe a little bit younger than my mom. Maybe she's not even that old. I don't know. But um, she was just like, I love, you know, and like I said, I live in an area where there's a lot of Spanish people. So she was just like, I love you. I love you so much. She was so thankful. And the amount of thankfulness and love and graciousness that she showed, that's the same type of, um, that's the same type of love that I have, you know, when that's the same type of appreciation that I have, you know, it's like you could do something tiny for me. And to me, it's like you just made my world. You just made the rest of my day and not just made it, but made it to like 120 percent because kindness in this world is something that's um, very rare, you know, just just random, random kindness is very rare to me, you know, and um I mean, it was the most beautiful thing, and I was glad that I opened the door for her because the part that made me hold back on doing it was because I think I'm too eager to help people. You know, I'm mean, too eager to help. I'm too appreciative. I'm too nice. I'm too honest. I'm too thankful. All of the things that are good, I'm too much of, you know? So it's like I'm trying to learn not to be so much of those things because in this world, people don't appreciate that, you know? It's seen as weakness. It's seen seen as being slow or something's wrong with you. It's not. I genuinely appreciate, you know, people, you know, when they're not being rude and mean and nasty. So if there's no reason for me not to appreciate you, I want to appreciate you to the fullest. You know, I want to love you. You know, just like she said, you know, I love you, I love you, you know. Genuine. Genuinely. Genuinely, genuinely. We don't have to be, you know, I will never date. I will never be married. I will never have a boyfriend again in my life. You know what I'm saying? Um, but every person that I come in contact with, unless you do something to hurt me mentally, spiritually, or hurt the world around you mentally, spiritually, or in any other way, because this world is my home. It's an extension of me. I love you. You know, there's no no other way for it to be anything other than that, you know? and um. I mean, it was amazing, you know, so on the one hand, you know, I, at first I didn't want to, you know, I wanted to kind of hold back because again, people don't appreciate, she might've looked at me uh, and I've had this happen a lot, but <laughs> she might've just looked at me like I was crazy, like because I opened the door for her, I somehow invaded her privacy or her space or that, you know, I was desperate or I was crazy, you know, so, you know, I really held back on that because after a while you get tired of, um, be an outcast like that especially when you have an agenda and things that you want to do with your life and you find that the energy that you're taking to do something positive for somebody else isn't being appreciated and not only is it not being appreciated it's being used against you you know against your spirit you know you know you're human you know not even it's not even about being human but after a while your brain kicks in and you're just like okay you know Maybe it's time for me to put that loving spirit, dim it, dim it a few notches. But it felt good to see that. And then when I, it, then relating it to me um, and my experiences, you know, there's been times I've been on the bus and, you know, a young man, young boy, young man, man, young man would, you know, come and grab my things and, you know, try to help me. Or even something simple like, like I did, you know, I would 
that's the most appreciative thing I've seen. You know, like if I'm going out the door and a young man holds the door open for me, I'm like, wow, you know, how respectful is that? And it's like for the rest of the day, you know, my heart has been lifted. You know, and at least for the next hour or two, I'm walking around with a stupid grin on my face because somebody acknowledged my presence, appreciated my presence, and not only did something nice for me, but did something nice for the world and being kind to me, you know, and lifting up my spirit so that, you know, I can go out and smile and the next person that sees me is uplifted by me being so uplifted, you know? So, um, you know, pay it forward, you know, pay it forward do something nice for no reason and you know what's hard for me like I said like I think this is a Korean part it's like when I see things like I said that really to me is just just downright rude you know I you know my spirit just balks I'm like I just shut down I can't I can't <laughs> I can't even you know you know the spirit of love that comes so easily I can't even I, I lock it up and hide it somewhere because that person is so undeserving because not only did they, you know, do something that was rude and offensive to me? But again, the vibe that it puts on me, it affects the whole environment, you know? So that's what I, I have to learn, you know, to, I don't know if I have to learn it or not, because I think all my life I've been a good person and I've always given people who comes out. And I think that maybe this, this um, permanent balking spirit of whoever crosses me or is rude to me, that, you know, especially in a situation where I don't, um, where I don't see that they need to be educated, meaning that they did what they did and they knew they did what they did. I mean, there's nothing, you know, there's nothing, there's no space for me there. There's nothing I can do, you know, there's nothing I can do to put any love on them because their agenda is to just put out hate, you know. There's nothing I can do to educate them because they already know and it's their agenda to do something different. So what can I do? So anyways, um, what made me kind of go into this vlog is um, yesterday I was chatting with somebody on um, Flirtomatic, and when I say chatting, I mean that very in the very broad sense of the word, meaning that maybe an hour passed and I looked and I saw that I happened to have a message from that person, and you know, it was just like, How are you? I'm, and then two hours later, I'm fine. How about you? Oh, I'm doing great, great. And this is like an hour or 30, at least 30 minutes between each like little message. and. So I asked this man, I said, um, what made you smile today? And he was like, the fact that he woke up, you know, when he woke up, he woke up with a smile on his face. One guy was like, you know, when he was brushing his teeth, that made him smile. You know, just the simple things in life, it doesn't take much to make a person happy, you know? And for me, what made me smile, the first thing I thought about was, and, it's, and it was only because it was the most recent, was I was on Moco Space and some of the conversations that were in there were ridiculous and I was just kind of being ridiculous along with it. And then I thought about that lady, you know, at the laundromat. That really made me smile. So yeah, so what made you smile today? Um, what's the last random act of kindness that you received that made you happy, that lifted your spirit? So what's the last thing that you did for someone else that unexpectedly had a greater effect on them than you imagined? Let me know.